Hello everyone, and welcome to the official Young and the Restless channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Before we dive into today's content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show some love by giving this video a thumbs up. Abby and Devin are on the deck of red lights talking about all the wedding cakes that they tried. She just had little nibbles however he wouldn't allow entire cuts to go to squander. He will pass on it to her to choose if they need red velvet or the lemon cake. Nate walks around and goes along with them, referencing that he saw their solicitations don't contain the area of the wedding scene. They just let it out a secret to them as well. Victor proposed to design it for them when their scene decision failed to work out. Nate doesn't know if her dad can be relied upon, he's a man of secret. Abby will see Victor to attempt to determine this. Kissing Devin, she exits. Devin and Abby talk cakes I and R. Nate lets Devin know that it as of now appears as though they are on their special first night. He considers how Abby will feel when she catches wind of how Victor treated Lily. Devin concedes that he hasn't updated the lady of the hour to be on that, and this setting circumstance has him stuck. In any case, he will make certain to tell Victor his opinion on the thing he's finished pursuing the wedding. The cousins stress over still up in the air to go facing Billy and Victor simultaneously. The two of them have the right to go down, however Victor will stop messing around. Devin doesn't actually think this is a battle worth battling and won't be great for Lily's standing. Everything thing they can manage is persuade her to drop this and return to work with them at Winters. Devin and Nate talk about Lily Y and R. Lily strolls into the athletic club and spots Billy drinking at the bar. She keeps away from him yet he walks over to her table to defy her about going to Jill, despite his good faith. Lily says she realizes his mom gave him a final proposal to make things right. How is everything turning out to do that? Plunking down excluded, Billy proposes she not let her imagination run wild. His arrangements not the slightest bit includes taking her back to the organization. I'll agree to watching your mother drag you out by your ears, she says. Billy claims he offered all her opportunities to be accomplices. As they quarrel, Lily advises him to partake in the power before his mother returns to town and removes it. Billy grumbles that she generally gets others to take on her conflicts for her. Lily believes he's envious that individuals need to help her when Phyllis is all he has. After they quarrel over who will be the one to brag eventually, Billy steps off. Nikki approaches and inquires as to whether she can join her. Lily doesn't have anything to tell her. The Newman actually needs to talk and plunks down. For what reason would it be advisable for me I pay attention to anything else of your untruths? Asks Lily. Nikki maintains that them should have the discussion Catherine would believe they should have. Whenever Lily blames her for utilizing Catherine to control her, Nikki calls attention to it's what her companion would have done as well. They go over how Victor deceived Lily and Nikki adds she didn't tell her anything untruthful. I was played by both of you, Lily proclaims. Nikki laments this and needs to attempt to fix the harm. You truly think I will work with you after what you did? Lily inquires. Nikki offers her advantages and a more significant compensation yet that is not what's going on with this for Lily who proclaims that no cost can be placed on how she helped the organization. At the point when Nikki recommends they could do incredible things together, Lily spits back that Nikki ought to concede she can't finish the work without her. Newman Media is a mother and pop shop contrasted with Chancellor. She's certain that Nikki realizes she can't finish the work without help from anyone else. The Newman rehashes that she would like to do this with her. Excusing this, Lily says it would be a stage down for her. She adds that Nikki is in no situation to offer anybody anything at Chancellor. Assuming you'll pardon me, this is my table, Lily nudges. Nikki makes Lily a proposition Y and R. After Nikki has left, Nate and Devin show up. They request that Lily return to Winters. She reminds them she's now rejected this deal a couple of times. She values being needed however isn't surrendering her battle for Chancellor. Lily uncovers that she's addressed Jill about Billy's awful administration. She'll be visiting the area for the wedding and will be assessing the situation. 
not set in stone to subvert Billy each opportunity she gets and get once more into the organization. She's certain that Jill would prefer to place her in control than risk losing everything to Victor. Devin and Nate think her arrangement is a remote chance. Devin actually figures she ought to return to Winters. That is the very thing that their dad would need. He guarantees that he could never slight her the way that Victor and Billy have, and notice that regardless of whether she got Chancellor back, the fight wouldn't end. Lily is asked back by Devin and Nate Y and R. As Devin rehashes that she has a place with her family, Nate receives one more message from Amy Lewis. It says she'll be visiting the area tomorrow. He makes sense of for his cousins that when he went to see her, she gave him father's stuff. However, he doesn't know why. They expect she needs to know something. Nat says the main thing she said is that she has something to tell him. Adam is called into Victor's office at Newman. He recognizes his child on his most recent article about the ruin that Billy has been causing at Abbott Chancellor. Adam expects he called him in to make everything go smoothly on the plot to utilize Kyle against Jack. His dad proposes he pour them a beverage while he makes sense of why he is pursuing Jack. He asserts that he is attempting to safeguard his loved ones. They nearly lost Nikki as a result of Jack's moronic trick. He almost killed his first love. Adam is certain Jack was just doing what he felt was important to save Nikki, yet concedes that assuming somebody he adored was jeopardized that way, he could feel the same way his dad does. As Victor folds his arms, his child makes sense of that he and Sally have separated and it's his shortcoming. He accomplished something they will not have the option to return from. Victor quickly expects this is associated with Chelsea. He can see they have developed nearer while really focusing on Connor. Adam is unequivocal that they are not back together. Indeed, it is inevitable, his dad finishes up. He thinks Chelsea is much better appropriate for his child than Sally. The experience with Connor has changed her, which simply demonstrates it generally returns to family. Pacing Adam says he can comprehend the reason why his father needs vengeance on Jack, yet he sees things in an unexpected way. He cautions Victor that Kyle will let him down. That's what Victor knows, yet doesn't mind since he's not his child. Adam proposes he utilizes family to get individuals to do his offering. He guarantees his dad that he has his steadfastness, and adds that he will follow the organization line as long as it doesn't mean going after Jack and his loved ones. Adam and Victor examine his plan Y and R. At the point when Abby meanders in, Adam takes off. Father and girl quickly begin talking about the wedding. She's certain it will be a superb day however they need to discuss who will walk her down the passageway. She cherish it assuming he and Ashley did it together. Abby makes sense of that her mom's recuperation in Paris is working out in a good way and she ought to be home soon. Since it is now so obvious who is strolling her down the path, she might want to understand what sort of passageway it is. Will she be riding a smaller than normal pony down it? Will it be inside or out? Telling her he loves her, Victor says she just has to clutch his arm and her mom's and she will be fine. Abby continues to search for subtleties, however he stays equivocal. Abby gets some information about setting Y and R. Nikki shows up as Abby argues. She tells Abby she is clueless about her wedding all things considered. Pronouncing this isn't finished, Abby leaves. Nikki and Abby talk about the wedding Y and R. Victor tells Nikki he will walk his girl down the path with Ashley. His significant other updates him that she just addressed Lily. Victor surmises that Lily has called Jill to snitch on how bumbling Billy is and make her a partner. He predicts that Jill will strip away Billy Kid's power. As they find a seat at his table, Nikki surmises this is all more private to him than expected. She stresses over how this will treat Johnny and Katie. Her significant other figures Billy will head out to recuperate, and they'll be in every way good. Nikki figures he might be out for recompense. That is not startling Victor, who's certain there's no way to hurt them. He won't allow anything to happen to their grandkids all things considered. When the residue is settled, he will likewise see that Lily is okay. Victor and Nikki talk about Lily Y and R. 
Sally is working at Ruby Lights when Adam comes in and recognizes her. When she gets his attention, he attempts to converse with her. The communication is troublesome, and he says he's grieved that he made it that way. Getting together her stuff, Sally pronounces she has a cutoff time. Adam attempts to commend her on her work. Things have been working out positively since I had Chelsea's spot, and she took mine, she expresses, declining to talk about the incongruity of this. At the point when Adam makes reference to she abandons stuff, she tells him to courier it to her. On out, Sally concedes she has no clue about when she'll have the option to endure being in a similar room as him. Adam runs into Sally Y and R. Sally strolls into the jazz parlor and finds Billy sitting at the bar alone. He surmises things aren't really great for her. She says it's nothing liquor can't fix. They choose to get rid of the empathies and she arranges a shot. Before long, the bar is fixed with shots. As they drink, Billy asks where she acquired her abilities. Sally makes sense of that she experienced childhood in a festival and they didn't have a drinking age. He respects her and the existence that she's figured out how to work for herself. They toast to that. As they get drunker, Sally admits that she figured out how to drive in a jokester vehicle when she was eight. By then, she chooses now is the right time to tap out. Since she can barely stand, he offers to unbalanced walk her dependent upon her suite. Billy and Sally stagger to the entryway of her suite, slurring and making carny jokes. Sally lets him know he's gallant and amusing as well. Billy's happy he made her grin. It's a lovely grin. They kiss. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates.